Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress and this is Pixie Dust Tarot and this is your Daily Dust. So woohoo, it's May 1st, 2023 if you're watching in real time. Monday for me or well, it's not Monday yet. I'm still in Sunday. I do this a day ahead of time usually and it is my little kitty cat's birthday. So happy birthday to Pumpkin and thank you Sierra for this awesome deck. We're going back to the final rose tarot i like to use a different deck every day and of course i have to repeat because i don't have infinite number of tarot decks unless you guys start sending me some you know but so i'm just teasing but you you definitely can if you want to um i do have a wish list i think it might be in the description box anyway this um Final Rose Tarot is, is all about the Bachelor and Bachelorette, and it's really beautifully done, and just really, really fun cards, really f fun way of doing tarot, like very, it matches up really nicely with the Rider Waite Smith, and also has a lot of the uh, character of the show, too, so let's see what we get. Sometimes... We'll get into a little bachelor withdrawals, like, oh, I miss bachelor, I need some more bachelor. Or bachelorette, I guess that's the next one coming up. We don't have to wait too long for the next one. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pick three for a collective reading. Ooh, that is so funny. I'm thinking this week that I would need a, I wanna buy some shoes. Okay, this is the bitch. <laughs> Queen of Mirrors. <laughs> All right. It, it could, you know, in Bachelor Nation, it's called the Badass Bee, which represents a very confident woman. Okay. Queen of Mirrors. Queen of Swords is the, the kind of confident, ultra confident. <laughs> so we have the Four of Mirrors, Reassuring Rose, which is Four of Swords. And... Nice, the contestant, the fool. Okay, let's zoom on in. And then I'll tell you a little bit of what the book says. That could match up to things going on in your life. And then I kind of give you my energy, the things that are I'm channeling and downloading. Okay, let's zoom on in. So, funny story. I was, I've been singing. And this is the time of the year where I, we have a couple of performances. I just did one and now another one's coming up on Sunday. And I was watching, looking at pictures and video of our previous concert and realized, you know what? I, I really need some high heels with that skirt <laughs> or not like really high heels, but just a little bit of a heel at least because I was wearing flats and somehow to me it didn't look right. So I was thinking to myself, maybe I should just get, you know, haven't invested in a nice pair of dress shoes in a while so I'm thinking maybe I should oh now I realize now what I'm gonna do I have an idea alternative idea but anyway but I still might shop for the shoes okay because there's also a dance anyway so it's so funny that it's this these shoes have come out so that could be you know you could be resonating with me and we have a shoe issue and we want to need a shop for shoes or shop for so an upcoming event of some sort but in the book, the Queen of Mirrors is the bee. <laughs> and she it talks about being a ruthless person that doesn't take any crap and um, she also is the kind that starts it. And if you're on her good side, she's a loyal friend who gives it to you straight and offers sound advice. But if she's on your bad side, then she'll cut you down. She's direct, blunt in her delivery and gets right to the point. This leaves little room for flexibility, though she tends to place more value in facts. Calling on her softness and compassion would benefit her greatly in her pursuit of truth. And um, it's interesting because, um, so I know a person who's a really nice person, and but she's very, like being around her, it it's just being around a you know the truth mirror like you can't hide from yourself when you're around this person because you see yourself exactly the way you are and it can be a little daunting right but at the same time if you are very 
secure within yourself, you have nothing to fear, <laughs> right? So sometimes I feel like these kinds of people, their best friends are usually ones who are very strong and confident within themselves. And ones that don't have hu huge egos, but have a lot of self-confidence at you know so and this could this could also this kind of energy could help you find your worth out you know outside of people's opinions right sometimes um that's really really important so whether you're this person or whether you have a friend like that just see see this kind of honesty as a gift even if it can be ultra harsh and sometimes sometimes it sounds like cruelty sometimes it sounds like on purpose and sometimes it's not a lot of times it's not a lot of times we have just no people who stick their foot in their mouth a lot or they just say things a certain way and they and that's just their style that's just the way they are they don't mean to be like that or it's just part of their personality or their persona you know that's the way they are you know and I there's tarot readers out there that I love that have this kind of this kind of style about them so and I, there's, you know, nothing, t you know, against that style. If if it's something that you like and you resonate with, then you should, you know, listen to those people. If not, then it's nothing wrong with not feeling comfortable around that style of person, <laughs> the one that's like really in your face. I, I tend not to be really in your face, but um, but I, I feel like it, you can learn a lot by from people like this, you know. The, the one thing that I just see is like when ego gets in so much of the way of just knowing your own truth, because sometimes the truth is not exactly, it doesn't have to be harsh, right? The truth doesn't always have to be harsh. It doesn't have to be um, mixed with an ego and an attitude. And a lot of people assume that truth is mixed in with ego and attitude or cruelty, but it's not ne that's not necessarily true. All right, but sometimes it is, but sometimes it's not. <laughs> anyway, so here come here along comes the four of mirrors. So in um in the Rider Wright Smith tarot, the four of swords or mirrors is kind of um it's it's that uh, rusting energy. It's the <laughs> somebody might have a rusting face <laughs> like that. Anyway, uh and you know Take the tarot as something big or something very mundane. Like you could just have, you could have one of these days where nothing really big happens and you just notice somebody. Oh, that's so funny because I just posted something. I, I saw um, somebody else post and it said, you know, you know, there's pretty and then there's pretty and um, but beautiful is comes from the inside out, right? Beautiful is being loving. And you can be pretty and it's just kind of like congratulations on having that face, you know? I like that. Congratulations on your face. Yes, that's a great face you have there. Yes. You know, congratulations on your genes and producing that face. Beauty is more than just, you know, uh, an aesthetic, um, symmetrical face. <laughs> Beauty just runs much deeper, right? So... Find that in you. Find that part in you. The reassuring rose is saying, Phew, what a relief. You can relax now. Worrying takes such a toll and causes burnout and exhaustion. It's important to breathe, especially after being embraced and, assault and assured. Yeah, so there's an embrace and assuring. So you could be this friend that like kind of helps, you know, with your compassion and her harshness, it could help actually soften the situation and make her feel a lot better. Um, and you know, your presence is appreciated. Allow yourself the space to take it easy and recharge. You have validation now, so take it in and clear your mind. There are more challenges ahead, and perhaps the toughest one is not allowing it all to get to you. What a nice thing, though, to have a friend like this that will never never tell you the, uh, you know, a lie or, 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 you know, tell it to you, <laughs> tell it to you easy, you know, they'll just tell it to you straight. But if you need that straight truth without all this dancing around, you know, passive aggressive stuff that maybe you get from other people like me, <laughs> then, um, you know, 
that's a great thing to have. I It makes me think of Aries. I admire that Aries. I love Aries women and how strong they are. And that fire energy in a lot of people, Sagittarius too, just to kind of like, it's just like that spitfire energy. But you're getting some kind of reassurance. This could actually be masculine too. Like you're getting some kind of reassurance and you're you're feeling really, maybe you're starting to get your own confidence and find your own worth by by you know seeing certain examples or getting advice or help from certain people or by you being the the kind person that reaches out it's like you're getting this in return like you're getting kindness in return and you didn't even do it on purpose to get kindness in return it just came na it's just natural for you to be kind and then this kindness in return was kind of a lot, a nice surprise so as far as the contestant, this is like a journey. In, in all decks, it represents the beginnings of things and a, a journey, adventure. Sometimes it can be romance too. Um, it's about your worth, you know. You're worth the world and what's in store. And get ready, take a leap of faith and trust the world has brought you here for the right reasons. So this is very, very interesting. You can be this person or you could be supported by a person like this that makes you feel that make, helps your self-worth in this day and you're ready to tackle the world world you have the confidence you have the gumption because you know what sometimes we're we're not sh always strong enough or motive we're not always self-motivated here's another thing i'm hearing like I said, we're not always self-motivated, and sometimes we need somebody that helps motivate us. Like as if we're um, go working out in a gym and we have a self-trainer, um, and this trainer is kind of, you know, could be like drill sergeant energy. And like some, you know, to be honest, I don't like <laughs> to be yelled at, but some people feel like they need that in order to stay, you know, on top of their game, to stay focused, to stay. And if they can't, you know, if they can't do it for themselves, they might need like this outside help to be like, come on, you, you know, and it's, it's little, it's not so much cheerleader as it is, you know, like drill sergeant energy. And sometimes it can be harsh, but the underlying energy is, is love because they want you to succeed and they want you to do well. And yeah, so it's, it's a very interesting thing when you deal with this, with this kind of harsh energy. But um, it, I feel like it's valid. It's not something that shouldn't exist at all. I just feel like it should be channeled in, in more productive ways. So if you have this energy, there is still there is a way for you can, that you can channel this, this very direct, harsh way of speaking or maneuvering in your life to really help people. So go for it. <laughs> and I hope you like that. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. Thank you.